This tutorial looks at neutralization. Neutralization of acids by both bases, which are insoluble, and by carbonates. Although at foundation level you'd be expected to complete word equations showing the neutralization of acids by bases and carbonates, at higher level you are expected to know many formulas, for example, of typical acids and of some typical uh, bases, alkalis and carbonates, so you would be expected to write balanced symbol equations for neutralization. Acids can be neutralized by bases. Bases generally are the oxides or the hydroxides of metals. Uh, some bases are soluble, like for example potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide but others are insoluble, such as uh, black copper oxide. Copper oxide won't react with cold acid, but it will react with hot acid and it will um, dissolve and form a salt. For example, if copper oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid, we get a salt, and the name of the salt would be based upon the name of the base, so it contains copper, two, and the name of the acid. Now, because it's a chloric acid, hydrochloric acid, it makes a chloride. So it makes copper chloride plus water. Generally speaking, a base plus an acid makes a salt plus water. Now you'll have to learn the formula for copper oxide, which is CuO, and hydrochloric acid, which is HCl. You'll also have to learn the formula for copper 2 chloride, which is CuCl2 and you should know the formula for water. So balancing this equation, we can see that there are two Cl's on the right-hand side, and there is a 1Cl at the moment on the left, so we need to put a 2 in front of that, uh, and that also balances up the H's on both sides as well. The second equation here, copper oxide is reacting with sulfuric acid, so again we'll get a salt. This time it will be copper 2 and because we're using sulfuric acid, it'll be a sulfate, copper 2 sulfate plus water. In terms of symbols, copper oxide, still CuO. Sulfuric acid, you'll have to learn, is H2SO4. Copper sulfate has the formula CuSO4. And water is H2O, so this one balances nicely as it is. The third one here is a soluble base called an alkali, and it's potassium hydroxide with nitric acid. These will react together to make a salt again. The salt will be starting with the word potassium, and because we're using nitric acid, we'll get potassium nitrate plus water. And potassium hydroxide, you'll have to learn the formula, is KOH, nitric acid, Again, you need to learn that formula, HNO3, and this will give potassium nitrate, which will have the K for the potassium and the NO3 for the nitrate, plus water, which is H2O. And looking at this one, this one balances already. So generally speaking, for bases reacting with acids, a base plus an acid makes a salt plus water. Carbonates are another substance that will neutralize acids, but they are not bases because bases react with acids to make a salt and water only, but carbonates make also bubbles of carbon dioxide. When we write these equations, I'll uh, have to write quite small, myself very little space on the right. Um, these will make a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. So the first one, sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid, will make sodium chloride, that will be the name of the salt, plus water plus carbon dioxide. And in terms of symbols, sodium carbonate, you'll have to learn the formula for this one, Na2CO3 plus hydrochloric acid, HCl, give sodium chloride, which is NaCl, 
plus water, which is H2O, plus carbon dioxide, which is CO2. In terms of balancing, we can see that there's uh, two sodiums on the left-hand side and only one on the right, so we need to put a 2 in front of there. We've now ended up with two chlorines on the right-hand side and uh, only one on the left, so we now need to put a 2 in front of the HCl, which now also balances up the number of hydrogens on the right-hand side. The second equation here, calcium carbonate and sulfuric acid, will make the salt. The salt will be calcium sulfate and water and carbon dioxide. Here, calcium carbonate will be CaCO3 and sulfuric acid. Apologies for the spelling there with a pH. My old fashioned self uh, is H2SO4. Calcium sulfate, you'll have to learn the formula for this one CaSO4 plus water H2O plus carbon dioxide CO2. And looking at this one, this one already balances. The third equation here, copper carbonate with uh, nitric acid. The salt will be, well, it'll be a nitrate. It'll be copper nitrate or copper 2 nitrate to be exact. Copper 2 nitrate. Again, plus water, plus carbon dioxide. And in terms of symbols, copper 2 carbonate is CuCO3, nitric acid is HNO3. Copper 2 nitrate, well it's made out of a copper 2 plus iron and an NO3 1 minus, so we need to have two of those nitrate ions to go with each copper, hence the bracket to show the whole of the nitrate is doubled, plus water, plus carbon dioxide, so here it doesn't yet balance. We've got two nitrates on the right-hand side here and only one on the left. So we need to put a two in front of here and that will also balance up the number of hydrogens on each side. Finally, we've got sodium carbonate and sulfuric acid. So they'll react together to make the salt. The salt here will be sodium sulfate and water and again carbon dioxide and in terms of symbols sodium carbonate is Na2CO3 sulfuric acid is H2SO4 that'll make a sodium sulfate Na2SO4 we've got water which is H2O and carbon dioxide CO2 so again, that one already balances. So as you can see, there's a general equation here, which is that the carbonate plus the acid gives a salt plus water plus carbon dioxide. Ammonia is a bit of an exception. It's um, a gas at room temperature, but it dissolves in water to make a uh, solution, which is a base. Um, it will react with an acid to make a salt. This is the exception. It doesn't make a salt plus water. So ammonia will react with nitric acid, and it will make a salt, and the salt's name is ammonium nitrate. Notice how the change of name occurs. We don't have ammonia nitrate, we've got ammonium nitrate, a bit like an, a metal in a way, like sodium or potassium. And ammonia and sulfuric acid would make us ammonium, yes, you've guessed it, sulfate. Now, the formula of ammonia in each case is NH3. So in the first case, it will react with a nitric acid, which is HNO3, to make ammonium. Here it's NH4, because it makes the NH4 plus iron, NO3. And ammonia with sulfuric acid, H2SO4, gives us ammonium sulfate. In this case, the ammonium ion, NH4 plus, 
You need two of them to balance up one of the SO4 2 minus ions. So the formula has the NH4 in a bracket with the SO4 afterwards. In this case, we need to balance the equation by having two ammonias for every sulfuric acid. For phosphoric acid, we don't need to know the formula of phosphoric acid. We just need to be able to balance equations uh, using phosphoric acid to make the salt, which is called a phosphate. So, for example, in this case, calcium carbonate. Carbonate reacts with the acid, phosphoric acid, to make the salt calcium phosphate, water, and carbon dioxide. Similarly, sodium carbonate would react with phosphoric acid to make sodium phosphate, water, and carbon dioxide. Here's a past paper question. John makes some sodium chloride. He uses some sodium hydroxide and an acid. Write down the name of the acid. Well, he's trying to make a chloride. So the acid he's going to have to use has got to be hydrochloric acid. So let's write the answer in. Hydrochloric acid. An acid reacts with a carbonate, a salt and water are made, a gas is also made. Write down the name of this gas. Well, the gas made when a carbonate reacts with an acid is carbon dioxide. So we'll write that down. Copper oxide is a base. It reacts with sulfuric acid to make copper sulfate and water. Write a word equation for this reaction. I wish all questions were this easy. So we're starting off on the left with the copper oxide and it's reacting with the sulfuric acid. These are both the reactants and the products it tells us are copper sulfate plus water. Calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid. A salt named uh, calcium chloride is made. Calcium carbonate also reacts with nitric acid. The name of the salt here you would get, it would still be a calcium compound. But this time, because you're using nitric acid, we'd get a nitrate. So the salt would be called calcium nitrate. Last question. Copper oxide, CuO, neutralizes hydrochloric acid, HCl. Copper chloride, CuCl2, and water are made. What type of substance is copper oxide? Well, it's reacted with an acid to make a salt and water only, so it must be a base. And write a balance symbol equation for this reaction. Well, we're given most of the information we need. We're told we're using copper oxide, CuO, and we're using hydrochloric acid, HCl. They're the reactants, and the products on the right-hand side are copper chloride and water, which we should know is H2O. Uh, then we look at the balancing. Well, for the second mark, we see that there are two CLs on the right-hand side, but only one on the left. So we're going to have to balance that with a 2 in front of the HCl, and that also solves the issue of having two hydrons on the right. We've now got two on the left. That's balanced.